if you've created a software demonstration, there's a very good chance you've included the mouse during your recording. On the screen in front of you right now, I have a mouse pointer on slide number three. I've decided I want to move the mouse pointer because I just don't like the position of the hotspot or the tip of the pointer. That's simple enough to do. I'll drag the mouse pointer and maybe position the tip of the hotspot a little bit to the right here. I can use my arrow keys on my keyboard to nudge the mouse left or right, up or down. I've got it positioned exactly where I want it. I'm going to go to slide number four, and now I see a problem. On slide number four, the mouse pointer is in the original location like it was on slide number three. If I bounce between slides three and four, I can see that mouse jump. If I hadn't seen that mouse jump and published the lesson, the learner would have seen the mouse jump sort of like a shimmy. I'm going to preview five slides and you'll see what I'm talking about. So here I go. And here's the mouse shimmy. I'm going to close the preview. I can take care of that mouse shimmy easily enough. I'm going to go to slide number four. I do have the option of moving the mouse pointer on slide number four a little bit at a time and switch between three and four until the shimmy is gone. Basically, I need the exact position of the hotspot, the point on that mouse pointer, to be in the same location so the user doesn't see that shimmy. But there's an easier way. Instead of moving the mouse pointer on slide number four repeatedly until I get the perfect position of the hotspot, I'm simply going to right click the mouse pointer and choose align to previous slide. Here we go. That makes quick work out of this. I'll go back to slide number three, jump to four. You can no longer see the mouse jump. I'll go back to slide number three, preview five slides, and the user, the learner, won't see the mouse jump either. Here we go. And perfect. Awesome technique. Let me close the preview. So remember, if you decide you want to move the mouse pointer, and I'm going to move it here on slide number three, I'm now going to go to slide number four. Technique is right-click the mouse pointer, align to previous slide, done.